Hello everyone, uh, my name is Stan Radakovic uh, from Linaro company. I'm currently involved uh, in the Onero project under the Eclipse Foundation and today for you I'll be talking about the Onero CI testing integration with Lava. So what is Onero? It's a fully connected all scenario intelligence ecosystem within the Eclipse Foundation. Uh, it provides unique user experience across different uh, consumer devices and scenarios. It's uh, providing uh, every device maker with the same technology baseline in an open, trusted, and transparent way. And the layered architecture uh, is built around the Octo project and Big Big Build system. Uh, it consists of the kernel layer, system services layer, framework layer, and application layer. So we've got a lot of things to test. Uh, on the other hand, we've got uh, Lava. So what is Lava? Uh, it's, uh, it stands for the Linear Automated uh, Validation Architecture. Uh, it's essentially a test execution system. So it's, we are testing software on the real hardware. Uh, we achieve that with three basic steps, uh, which are deploy, boot, and test. Um, and uh, some example usages would be the boot testing within the kernel CI project. We got the system level testing in the LKFT projects within Linaro. Uh, we test uh, power consumption, benchmarks, and uh, a lot of other uh, things. Uh, so. How did it work before? Uh, so you got uh, your uh, uh, average developer uh, having a board on his desk. He has to connect uh, uh, the power control to the board. Uh, he needs a serial relay and uh, a way to, to deploy the image to the board via DHCP and NFS server. So first he would like power on the board, telnet to it, set up the DHCP, then uh, uh, the, all the necessary parameters to boot the image, and then a login uh, to that image, run tests, and then power off the board. Uh, so Lava achieves all of that, all of this automatically. So uh, there are two uh, uh, main parts of Lava. This is the Lava server and the Lava worker. Uh, so Lava worker is physically connected uh, to the uh, DUT uh, via uh, serial relay. Uh, and uh, uh, in some cases, uh, uh, other things. Uh, we got uh, Lava worker controlling the power of the board and also deploying the uh, image uh, in an automated fashion collecting all the results from the tests and sending them to Lava server, essentially. So there are many supported methods for all those three steps. Uh, some of these uh, include uh, for the deploy, uh, one, a step include uh, TFTP, uh, MBD, Flasher, MPS, SSH, Docker, etc. For the boot, uh, uh, the regular U-boot, uh, PyO CD, uh, Fastboot, uh, Docker, uh, KMU, uh, and others. And, uh, uh, for a uh, test step, uh, uh, we can uh, fetch tests uh, via Git repository, we can have interactive tests, we can uh, monitor uh, like pre-burned pre, uh, tests on the image which are automatically run, uh, etc. Uh, currently there's a north of uh, 300 devices supported in Lava and this number is uh, constantly growing, so uh, there's a lot of coverage uh, for, 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 the, for the boards. Uh, this uh, I will briefly explain the concept of Lava, which is relevant in Odero, which is called the Remote Labs. Uh, so, as I've stated previously, Lava consists of the server and the worker. So, the Lava server and associated the workers can uh, optionally be physically uh, located in different places. So, it means multiple mul multiple workers, uh, for instance, can be in the distributed locations. So, each of the worker uh, group is called the Remote Lab. So Lava server stores the test results and hosts the web interface uh, uh, for all the distributed workers and their DUTs. So it all appears as a single instance. Uh, how do we utilize remote labs concept in the Onero project? So we got the DUT management in the hands of the originated, uh, originators and vendors. Uh, so there's no need to educate uh, uh, central lab personnel on every board from every vendor. No, there is no hardware shipping or return cycle with uh, problematic board debugging. Uh, no hardware maintenance by lab personnel, which uh, uh, in turn reduces costs. Uh, uh, we achieve decentralization, so each member or contributor uh, to the project can add uh, physical devices in, in uh, on different locations. Uh, we got sharing, so devices uh, added under testing can be shared by a public and cloud interface. We've got scalability and means which each site can add uh, one to hundreds of devices uh, on its premises. How we deploy Lava in the Unero project? So the whole concept supports the infrastructure as a code concept. We've got the Lava server uh, in the cloud uh, and we've got the worker provisioning streamlined, which means both installation configurations uh, are all uh, automatically deployed. 
uh, we got the automatic upgrades of remote labs based on server version, which, which means uh, whenever there's a new uh, Lava version upstream, the only thing you we need to do is uh, upgrade the server and all the workers on all the remote locations are upgraded uh, automatically. Uh, this also includes the no upgrade downtime as well. Uh, currently, we have th uh, three uh, re uh, remote labs. Uh, one is in Warsaw, uh, one in Belgrade, uh, Serbia, and the uh, third one in Shanghai, China. Uh, supported devices currently in the Neuro project are uh, QMU, Raspberry Pi 4, Nitrogen, Arduino Nano, BLE33, and uh, from the SECO uh, vendor V68 and C61 board. So uh, this is uh, how our uh, CI loop uh, 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 looks like. So we've got, uh, on one hand, contributors and the developers committed code to the GitLab, with, where the Oniro project uh, is hosted. We've got a bit big uh, building artifacts, and uh, in, 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 then the jobs to the Lava are submitted. Lava, in turn, uh, runs the tests on the connected duties. Uh, when all those tests are finished, the Lava will trigger a, a manual job in the pipeline, which in turn will pick up all those uh, test results from the Lava via the REST API and report them in the GitLab. So GitLab, uh, newer versions of GitLab has this feature where you can uh, upload the, the, the test in the JUnit format and it will uh, display them in the UI and you can also pick them up via the uh, REST interface. So. Uh, so this is like a brief explanation. So you've got, you've got the developer pushing the merge request, building artifacts, uh, jobs are submitted via the CI pipeline, and then we test, trigger the manual CI pipeline, and feed the results back to GitLab, report test results back to the merge request, which in turn will uh, fail or, or pass, depending on uh, whether there are uh, uh, fail, fail tests uh, uh, or not, or uh, you can set some sort of threshold uh, uh, if there are any any failures, um, and you profit. So I guess now it is time for the Q and A session. I want to thank you all for listening in and uh, join us at the onirproject.org. Uh, thank you.